This broadcast is brought to you by Gear Guts Mech Shop. Gear Guts Mech Shop. Home of the biggest, baddest, most varied kinds of boys you can spend your teeth on. Now featuring a bunch of new Ronin bruises for sale. Pick them up in the link in the discount code below. Fish boys get new trends and a new Big Mac joins the war. All this and more on News and Rules. Good evening, kids. I'm your anchor, Gim Gam Glitstalker, and this is News and Rules. Top on Orky story tonight. Local fish boys are scheduled to have their new rulebook released soon after an announcement of a large overhaul to their spindly hunter mates. Seems strange to make such a fuss over a bunch of lanky looking crots, but apparently the fish boys have been waiting for a new moment of spindly brown hunters to finally show up. But that wasn't the only fuss that the fish boys was making. Many fish boy mechs are up in arm against Gort's wisdom, as the gods are no longer allowing them to fill their dreads with any weapon of their choosing. Instead, they're only allowed to have three different loadouts for their guns. Orky Correspondents reached out to one of the Fishboy mechs for comment. I don't understand. We have a veritable stockpile of cyclic ion blasters. What are we supposed to do with them now? Wait, what are you doing? Whoa. Stop! You're killing me! <laughs> oh, Fishboys, they're the ones that kill me! Many Fishboys, such as Fishboy Boss Commander Farsight, is hopeful considering many of the stratagems and reworks to the skinny shooty traits, allowing them to deep strike from the sky next to their enemies and blast them at point blank range with all their darker. All I can say for you, far sight, you git, is I hope she's killed all of them after your first round of darker. Cause otherwise, use right in charging range. Oh, Nash Drake's not an orc to take lightly, mate. He may like darker more than most orcs, but he's still an orc. Moving to our next story. The Golden Beakies got themselves a new shield boss. Little is known about the kit, but word around the war is that while some of the best shiny bits and gubbins and the average Golden Beaky this boy's got, boys is split down the middle on the overall design as he looks a bit stunty. However, I think everybody here can agree that that combi stabber and melty talker is in fact quite chilly. According to reports, that big box that the shield boss comes in apparently is worth the 210 teeth with 5.6 points per tooth. It's apparently one of the better deals given by Gold's Wisdom. So, if you need some gold beakies, this is a good deal. At least I, I, I think. I mean, it's more gold than I've seen in a beaky mob, that's for sure. Now, moving on to stories that matter. Big Mechs. They've been the star of the 10th edition as of late, ever since Gorks Wisdom gave them the ability to give vehicles plus one to hit, Big Mechs have been in massive demand for every Dread Mob in the galaxy. However, recently Gorks Wisdom released a brand new Big Mech that split the boys down the middle. Many boys praise the mechy new abilities that it has such as being able to teleport an entire mob through or across any kind of terrain with its shock booster. This is also the first mech kit ever to have a personalized tractor blaster able to yank down flyboys with ease, complete with customization of power claws, drills, and even a proper custom mega blaster. Other boys, however, are appalled at this new kit for its apparent lack of dental decency, saying, quote, what even is this kit? What are Sauron's boys from that book about that there ring? Where's the teeth? Where's the tusks? No wonder they's trying to be the best mech in the galaxy, but they can't afford nothing with how few teeth they have. But that isn't the only controversy surrounding this new mech. The stomper box where this boy's debuting in has caused even greater splits between the odd boys. With many of the mechs stating that not only is it right proper for a new mech to be debut with a stomper, the biggest and shootiest mech creation in the whole war, but to be debuted alongside two sets of little boys just makes sogging sense. To quote, Who the zog you think is gonna repair that stomper or make the little shooters bigger with more darker? You needs a mech for that. However, other bosses are more skeptical of the box saying, Is you a zogging idiot? You only got one group of 10 boys in a truck. All your resources is going to that stomper, which is little more than a walking target. Gork's wisdom never did give the right rules to be useful. Sure, it's got lots of ducker, but it never hits and it costs way too many points to the field. Now, this anchor doesn't know what the zone the bosses means by points, but as, as much as I love stompers, I tend to agree. 
there is just too much investment on a stomper for it to fit in a proper mob when it comes to the game. It either needs to be less points, or, as a regular fix to all situations of this kind, it needs more darker. But that's all the time that we've got tonight. Join us next time as we look into the dangerous and explosive events of the Big Darker, of Tech Black Hawk, and the drama behind the Tech War versus the Spikies. This is Gim Gam Blitz Darker saying, sort of, and good night.